Hey everyone, how you all doing? I'm Blue here, back with our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. So guys, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. Now before we get started guys, first of all, I want to say thank you so, so much for 50,000 subscribers. I honestly, honestly guys, I never expected this channel to ever reach those kind of numbers. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart guys. Thank you for all of your support. It truly is appreciated so much. Now also with that being said guys, I do want to apologize for the lack of videos over the last few days. I've been busy working on a bunch of cool upcoming projects guys. So stay tuned for them. Some really exciting projects coming up very soon. Now, with that being said, guys, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to dive straight in and get building. So let's head straight into this world and start getting some more work done on our castle. All right, guys, time to get to work. So let's head into the castle and head straight up to the library where we left off in the last episode. Now, since last episode, guys, I have updated to 1.15.2. So we're now in the new version of Minecraft. I know 1.16 is around the corner, so we will be updating to that as well when that gets here. But for now, we're going to work with this. Now, before we get started, guys, I know you guys always hate it when I go ahead and I make changes and change things and stuff. But I only ever do it because I know it's going to make the castle so much better. Now I'm going to make a small change here, it's not a big change and we will be reusing what we remove, okay? So we're just going to make a little bit of an edit to the library, but it's going to be 10 times better guys, I promise you. The layout I've got planned is really, really cool. So on the lower level of the library that we've done in last episode, let's first go ahead and get rid of this pillar here on the corner, okay? So we're on, we're basically where the door is. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. We're going to get rid of the pillar across the top here. This bit here. The connection going across to here. And then all these bookshelves here. Including these little tables here. Get rid of this. And then this pillar here on the corner. We're going to get rid of that one. And then actually while we're here. Let's just get rid of this one down here as well. And then we can get rid of these two here. Now you should have a big open space like this. Okay, so we should have quite a big bit of an area to work with now. So first of all, where we got the ladder on each side here, we're going to go ahead and at the edge, we're going to bring a new pillar up right here. Okay, and then we're going to break these two here and this upside down stair and then just join it all the way up to here. Okay. Do the same on this side over here. So get rid of the stair, those two there, and then just bring this all the way up like so. Then we're going to get our bookshelves and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just put them in the back here like this all the way. Remove all of these spruce uh, strip spruce logs and then fill it like so. Okay, and again, you can go ahead if you wanted to and put some of the looms in to make it look like empty bookshelves. That's up to you. And we're going to repeat the same thing over here. So let's get rid of these two and then these ones all the way down. Like so. And already, guys, look how much nicer the corner looks now that we got that indentation there. Now, we're also going to go ahead and put another pillar in this corner here, bringing it all the way down to the ground. Just like this, it just kind of neatens off that corner a little bit. Now, over this side, we're going to go ahead, leave a free block gap from this pillar. Right to there. And we're going to bring that one up to the ceiling. And then at the very top, if we can fly, let's put three blocks behind there for now. And then join the pillars up like this. And then, of course, we're going to just go ahead and fill this with our bookshelves. And then we're going to put in a couple of upside down stairs just at the very top like this. Now over here, we're going to go ahead and repeat this same pattern we have here. So we've got one pillar here, which is where our stairway comes across from. Leave a three block gap, put one here. Leave another three block gap and put one here. Okay. And then we're going to put four more on top, making them five in total. So one, two, three, four, and then join it up to this one. One, two, three, four, and then join this one up to this one. Okay, right now down here, we're going to go ahead where we got this pillar here. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Um, let me just go in here so you can see exactly where I am. So where we've got those um, 
where the library is here, around this little edge here. We're going to go ahead, bring one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do it on every other block all the way across this wall. All the way till we get to here. Okay. So basically, we should have five pillars coming across. And then in between, we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then just raise those to the same height. This is our bone block. But again, guys, you can go ahead and use so many different blocks here. It could be smooth sandstone. It could be a block of a different color. It's entirely up to you. And then in the top here, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a strip block all the way across. And then that one in the corner can be sticking upwards like so. Now, where we've got these, um, these little gaps here, what we're going to do is go ahead and put an upside down stair in the gaps like this. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to go behind them and we're going to put in some bookshelves. Make sure the bookshelf is set backwards behind the pillars, okay? And then we're going to fill them up to four levels high, like this. Do the same in this gap. Now, grab your dark oak stairs and we're simply going to put in some little tables here. What we're going to do is put two upside down stairs at each side like this. I think this one here, I'm going to actually go ahead... Actually, no, we'll leave that one in the middle. Okay, then we're going to do that and that on this one. And then this final one over here, I'm going to actually just turn into a full tail by putting that in the center like so. Let's put some lanterns in those gaps like this to brighten it up. And we're also going to put a lantern up here. And again, we're going to put a little table in over here like this, like just like so. Now, I'm going to quickly grab myself a lectern. And then I'm going to put the lectern right in the center here, like this, just for now. Okay, we're going to have those in there. Okay, right, now let's go ahead. Let me get rid of these torches here, because they're kind of just in the way a little bit. Let's get rid of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another little table here. So first of all, I'm going to get my dark oak logs. Uh, logs, dark oak slabs. I do apologize, guys. I want to have the seats down the side here. So I think what we'll do is where this um, this spruce fence is, I think probably the, the one further inwards, we're going to put an upside down stair against that just for a minute. We'll bring another one over. And then we're going to go one more and then get rid of those two. And then we put another one just here. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then upside down stair, upside down stair next to it, and then slabs across the rest. So we have a nice table coming down like this. Now where the um, stair is there, on the next block over here, we want to put a slab, and then on every other block, so we have three seats down this side, and then on the same on here, just like this. Okay. And there we go, we've got a nice little table there. We'll go ahead and get our dark oak trapdoors and we can make some little backings for those. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put a trapdoor behind each one like this. Okay, nice and simple. And then we're gonna do something very similar again over here. We're just gonna put one there, one there, and then a, a uh, trapdoor on each of those just to make a little kind of uh, area for reading. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could put one here um, along with the trapdoor like that and then put your lectern in the gap. Um, you know, but it just gives you a little bit less room to walk through. But I suppose it doesn't really get in the way. It still leaves you with enough room there. Okay, so decorating this, guys, is pretty simple. I didn't really do too much here. So what we're going to do is put in a stone pressure plate there, maybe one there on the table. Kind of look a little bit like, like a book if you kind of... You know, try not to read too much into it. Then we're going to put a flower pot here and here with a sapling inside it. We're going to put a book and quill against the lecterns down here. And we're actually going to grab those lecterns while we're here. And on the top level up here, we're just going to put a lectern one, two and three like this. And each one can have a book and quill on it like that. Okay just to neaten that up a little bit. And then it's just a matter of adding in a few little details as you please, guys. You know, you can put in some sea pickles. They kind of look a little bit like candles or like a little decoration ornament of sorts. 
put in some flower pots you can put in a sapling or even a, a uh, cactus or flower of your choice it doesn't matter um, we're gonna go ahead maybe put some flower pots across these ones as well something like that yeah and I think that'll do for the top floor let's head down to the lower ground level here and again I think we're just gonna go with some flowers in the middle here um, here let's go ahead and put maybe a couple of those maybe we put one over here let's put a cactus just there and I think maybe we'll have a cactus right there and there we go guys I think you know I think that will do the job now all we need is a little bit more lighting so what we're gonna do is underneath here I think what we'll do is if we go from the corner here where the stair is we're gonna go in by one in by two then we'll leave a two block gap to we'll put one there and then we're gonna come all the way to the opposite side and one would be I guess about there maybe actually it'd be one more in there we go so something like that just to put a bit of light in here and brighten it up and then we're gonna put one right there in that doorway and I think that will probably do for in here um, at least for now in fact what we'll do is we'll put one lectern down there one lectern down there and we'll put a book and quill on those Maybe these have got like research for, you know, for the books that are on here, you know, kind of like categorizing them or something. Okay, now I think this already looks like a million times better for the library, guys. Right, okay, so let's move along and we're going to move around to here. Now, in the back here, I think this is going to be where we're going to have a kind of... Um, a war room and then the king's bedroom is going to be above up here so to do that we're going to need to divide this up a little bit so first of all i think what we do is where we got the stone here for the large tower we're going to get rid of some of this um in fact you know what let's just remove all of the stone that we can kind of get rid of without making it visible on the outside so I think we can go to there that can be brought to there let's break that one we can bring up to the edge there and then again just following this path for now some of this might go back I'm not certain just yet guys I've got to work out a good route into this tower um, because this is going to be the major tower that we're going to work our way into Okay guys, once you've got everything all cleared out of your way like this, we're going to start working on the area. So first of all, we're going to put some planks in this little gap here. Then where the floor level is over here, we're going to come to this corner, right where our window is here, the library is over there. And we're going to bring this all the way across to the other side, right to there. Then at this same level, we're going to just fill all of the floor in. Okay, so we're going to keep it all at this same level here. Just fill all of the floor in at this level, just underneath that window. All in this section here, but stop once we get to this line. Okay, because we're going to change it up a little bit over here. So let's go ahead and fill that all in first of all. Okay, now that we've got all of our floor in place, guys, let's go ahead underneath here. And where we've got this row of windows going all the way across, we're going to come over to the end one here. And right to the side of it, we're going to put a pillar all the way to the top. Leave a free block gap. And then we're going to go to this one here and do the same thing. Okay. Then we're basically going to do the same thing all the way across. So a free block gap, free block gap, and then a free block gap would bring us to here. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring these up to the same level, okay? Just like so. And then in the gaps, we're just going to go ahead and make a little table like this with our upside down stairs in between all of these little gaps. Now back to our planks again, guys. We're going to run a strip all the way across here. All the way to this end pillar here. And then we're going to go one, two, three, 
four, making it five here just for now at least. Okay, we might extend this a little bit later on, but we're gonna just make that all the way across down to this end. Okay, now we're just gonna come under here and just get in some of this room in the corner here. So down where these windows are, where we just put in all of these beams, we're gonna go ahead where this one is. We're gonna go one, two, three, okay? This is the first one where the library is. And then we're gonna bring a pillar up right here to the ceiling. In this diagonal corner here, we're gonna put the bone block all the way to the ceiling, just like this. And then I think for the inside here to make a little doorway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just come inwards by one and just bring the doorway up like this, all the way to the ceiling, like that. Place two in the middle here, and then if we go to the outside, place an upside down stair there, one there, and one there. And I think that would do. On the inside, of course, we're gonna come in here and place our door like so. Now, in here, we've actually got these bookshelves here set up, and I think we're going to use these two here, but not this one on the corner. So what we do is we're going to just fill, first of all, across these gaps here with any block of your choice, or put some torches in there. It's entirely up to you. Make sure you go ahead and fill all these gaps because you don't want to get any mobs spawning. So if you don't fill them, make sure you cover them with torches, just like this. Now we're going to go ahead in this direct corner here and put a pillar all the way to the ceiling. One in front of this bit. And then one over here. And then of course we're just going to connect the tops like this. Over here on this corner here we're going to do the same thing. So behind here we can just go ahead and fill that with any block of our choice. And then we're going to put a pillar all the way up here and join it across like so and then upside down stairs on there upside down stairs in here and in here right okay to keep this bit lit up we're going to go ahead and put in a couple of lanterns just there like so and then i think just down the bottom here let's just make a couple of tables so two stairs like that one in the center there one there one there and one there Okay, now that we've got that all in place, let's go ahead in the corner here and we're just gonna cover this section here with our spruce planks all the way over to the corner. And then from the corner here, I actually wanna backlight this wall here because we're gonna have a map wall. So we're gonna actually go ahead and put some planks over here like this and then a pillar in front of it like so, okay? Over the back here, let's do the same thing. So we'll put some planks or any block in the corner. It doesn't matter. It's going to be covered. And then a pillar in front of it from this side. Okay, so there's our door there. So we've got this whole wall like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab the glowstone. And I think what we're going to just do is cover the whole section here with the glowstone. Just like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and just remove these torches. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame or a bunch of item frames. And we're just going to place those on front of all of the glowstone here. And this is where we're going to have our map. And it's going to be a pretty big map. Now, I'm not going to go and do the map on camera, guys. I'll do that off camera probably before next episode. Um, and fill all of the map in for this area um, but you guys can go and do that as and when you please and fill in your map on the wall here okay it's going to be a pretty big map so you've got lots of room here to play with for the map so uh, yeah feel free to play around with it as you please you can even divide it into two maps if you wanted to um, it's entirely up to you what you guys want to do now what I'm going to actually do here guys I've just realised I actually came one in too far. So what I'm going to actually do, I do apologize here, guys. This pillar here should have been in one like this, okay? So that we can um, so that we can fill this back wall here with a, um, a different color. So now that we got that all in place, I think from this pillar down here, I think every other block like this is going to be a pillar. And we're just going to bring those all the way to the ceiling. Um, we're going to extend these ones over here as well. 
And then, of course, in the gaps, let's go ahead and throw in our bone blocks. Okay, and that gives us a little bit of a nicer wall there. Okay, now for this wall here, I think what we're going to just do is just extend the um, strip blocks like this all the way to the ceiling. Just to finish that all off like that. I think that looks pretty good. And then I guess what we do is we grab ourselves some spruce trapdoors. And we can make ourselves a few shelves in here. So let's go ahead and we'll go... Um, let's make a shelf across this bit here. Right there. Now, some people have been saying that they can't place things on the trapdoors here. So when you place these guys, just be careful where you're placing them. You want to make sure you're placing them on the top half of the block. That way you can place something on them because you've got a full block on this next section however if you're placing it on the um on the part of the block here which is the lower half of the block you won't be able to place nothing on top of it okay so make sure that the shelving like this is always on the top half of the block and then that way you can place something on top okay guys now just to decorate the walls here a little bit quickly what we're going to do is just put in a couple more shelves i think here and here we'll put a flower pot see there we go we put it on the wrong bit let's do that but flower pot and some of these uh, little green things here we'll put a sapling in that one let's put a skeleton here i've done the same thing with this let's put it down onto there and then we're going to crouch and place on there. Yeah, I think that will do. Over here, we're going to put one there and we'll put a cactus. Okay, so now we've got decorations up on all of the walls and it looks pretty good in here now. I might just go ahead and throw a flower pot in there and there and then just go boom and boom. Now, we want to kind of make a little table here. So let's go ahead and first of all, work out what have we got. One, two, three one two three four five six seven okay so we've got a center point right here so we're gonna leave where the actual item frame is here leave a one block gap and then leave a two block gap brother put a seat just there for a moment okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in just any blocks across here for a second we're gonna put an upside down stair there and there This is the center point of the map. There's seven blocks across here. So we're going to put a chair there. Let's get rid of that for now, now that we've got the stairs in place. Then we're going to go back to our slabs. We're going to put one here, one here, one in that little gap there, one there, one here. And then on these two corners, we're going to put in two upside down stairs. Then around the edges on the corners, we can put two chairs like this. Okay, all the way around. Now we're going to put two of our trapdoors behind these ones, okay? Because these are going to be like the military um, and the king and stuff like that. that the leaders who are going to talk about the war or whatever they're planning. It's like a strategy, uh, a strategy room sort of thing, you know, like a war room. And then we're going to put two. If we stand here, we've got a crouch to place one on top like this. There we go, we've got a little table. Let's put a flower pot in the middle. Something like that, maybe. Just to make it a little bit decorative. I don't know, something like that to make it look a bit decorative. Um, now, I think what we're gonna do here, just to make these chairs look a little bit nicer, we're gonna grab some white banners and some red banners. Now, because the map ball is going to be there, I'm going to make these two here red, which will be the king and the king's right, right hand man. Then the rest of them are going to be for the military soldiers or leaders or whatever, whoever else they're talking with. Um, so we're going to just make them ones white. So something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And we've got a nice big area there for the map. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy with that, guys. I like that. Okay, now we're going to start working on the hallway that's going to come down here. So we need to start working on this room here. So from this pillar here, I'm going to leave a one, two, three block gap and then place a pillar right here. Okay, 
And then we're just going to raise this one all the way up for the moment to... Let's actually break that. Let's bring it to there. Okay, so this guy here, for the moment... Actually, actually, it doesn't matter. We can leave the spruce planks there. It don't matter. Now, what have we got here? we got one, two... Okay, so... I think what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this pillar up to the ceiling like that. This one here I'm going to break and I'm going to put in the corner here like that. And then we're going to have a two block doorway there. We're going to go up to this one here. And then that way we can fit in our um, bone blocks at the top there. And then we can grab our spruce stairs and underneath here we can put in two spruce stairs. And that will be our little doorway so let's grab a door, and then from the inside, oops, put two doors. So we have something like that. And then, of course, we're going to put our bone block in here to the ceiling. Now, we're going to put in, from this pillar here, we're going to go one, two, two, leave a one block gap between them. One, two, three, and four, I think. Yeah, four. So that brings us directly to here, and then we're going to bring this one around the corner all the way to the wall there. Now, go ahead, raise these ones up to the floor level. In fact, just raise them up to the ceiling if you can. On this edge here, guys, just get rid of this one edge, okay? So there's a door there, just that one edge there, and we'll go ahead and we'll just get rid of this edge here as well, okay? And then what we're going to do on the tops of all of these, if we just bring these ones up so they're all at the same height for the minute, these ones here like this, and then what we do is just raise them up higher as they can go, okay? So they touch the ceiling or whatever comes first. Okay, because of this corner being here where it is, guys, we're going to actually just bring it down. We're going to just stop once we get where the floor is. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks high, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six blocks high in total above the floor level, okay? We'll do the same on these ones here. Okay, and we're just going to stop about there for the moment. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here, and it might be just a little bit tricky in survival, but if you use the scaffold, then it shouldn't be a problem. What we're going to do is come in here, first of all, bring planks across that edge inside there, okay? So, the, right underneath us at the moment is the library, okay? So, we're going towards the barracks end, and we want to bring in a level just like this all the way across here, okay? All this section here. Now, while you're doing this, I would highly recommend, guys, going ahead and putting in, oops, putting in some torches along your way because you don't want it getting dark on here. So let's just go ahead and get this all in. This is going to be kind of like our roof level, okay? Fill in around any of your pillars. If you have these pillars going to the ceiling here, we can just get rid of these ones here so that we can level it out as well, okay? Okay, once you're done, guys, you should have something like this, okay, where it's just sectioned above where we um, finished our pillars here. And then underneath here, you should have that extra strip coming through the center here. Now, what we're going to do is in the gaps here, this one here, we're going to fill with two bits of the uh, bone block like this. And again, we're only going to take them to the same height to there, okay? Do the same in all of the gaps now. So all of these gaps around the edge here, go ahead and fill them with your bone block. Okay, once that's all in place, you can see this room is actually pretty dark. So let me just quickly go ahead. I'm gonna put this in my offhand for a minute, just while we're gonna fly up here. So at the top of the ceiling here, guys, what we're going to do is, first of all, get your planks in this gap here, bring the plank all the way down, and then we're just going to fill the rest of this like so. Can we get rid of that stone? No, that stone's going to have to stay there. So let's go ahead and just bring all of this like so, and just fill the roof with that one extra level of planks. 
Okay, just like this. And I'll tell you what, in the corner here, I'm just going to do this. Bring it down like that. Bring this one down like that. And you know what? In fact, because of the shape of the way this room is, just go ahead and just extend that all the way across to this wall here. That way we can just keep a repeated roof all the way across. Do the same on this side here. Now, once you've got that all in place, we're going to go ahead quickly. And what we're going to do is from the back wall here, we're going to go one, two, one, two, three on the fourth one there. So break these ones. We're going to leave that there. From the front here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. These two are covered, so that's why I'm, I'm putting the three from here. Um, so we're going to go to that one there. Then, then we're going to put two of our iron bars against both of those. Okay. Fence post underneath. Wrap your fence posts around each side like this. Same on this one. In the middle underneath, put an iron bar. And then just go ahead and put in your lanterns against each one like this. And the same on this one. Okay, now I'm not sure what this room is going to be yet, but let's go ahead and just kind of style up a little bit of the room just to give it a little bit of a, um, I don't know, some kind of look. So first of all, this wall where the window is, let's go ahead first of all and just cover it all in planks like this, okay, in all the edges here, obviously not where the glass is. Break these ones out if they're still there, right, because these have got the um, polish and the site here, so we want to cover behind those. And then just fill all of this down like this. All the way until we get this. Then, right to the side of the window here, we're going to bring one pillar all the way up. To the ceiling. Same on this side. Then, at the top here, just add another layer of your planks. And then an upside down stair on each oops each side just like that underneath the window here just put some normal stairs and then fill the planks in underneath like this now i think just to make this one to make it look a bit nicer what's behind this nothing so what we're gonna do is get rid of that and put in the bone block up to the top just like this then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put in a pillar right here. Okay. And then I think, yeah, we just extend the planks for this one. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat that onto the opposite side. So we should have the pillar straight in line and then we can raise that all the way to the top. And then bring the planks in. Just like so. And that gives us a nice room here. Let's go ahead and put some upside down stairs across this side. We'll put some upside down stairs across this side. Then underneath here, we're going to go ahead and bring our stairs all the way across. Do the same on this side again. And then finally across the top of the roof like this. And then on the opposite side. So we've got to be a bit careful up here because we've got to make sure that we can get through still. Just like so. There we go. Now I'm not certain what to do with this room just yet guys. So if you have any ideas what to do with this room, please be sure to let me know in the comments what you think we should do inside it. Now let's go out here and of course while we're out here, let's get rid of the torches on the floor here. Okay. All the way down to this corner here. And then what we'll do is we'll start by putting in on the corner here, we're going to go ahead, go one in and put one into the corner. So we've got a one block gap around the edge there where the wall is. And we're going to put a lantern just there. Then where the window is here, again, right in the middle of the ceiling here, we're going to put one there. And then a three block gap, one here, three block gap, three block gap. So it should be in the middle of the window every time. 
On the other side over here, we're going to put an upside down stair. Actually, no, we're not going to do upside down stairs. We're going to do upside down stairs that way, all the way across. Okay, now we've got the hallway in place. Let's work our way up to this floor here because we can have the king's bedroom down the end there. So first of all, let's get rid of this little stairway section on only the top layer here. So just get rid of all of these for the moment. Then we're going to get rid of these two here. And we're going to put two upside down stairs like this. Then we're going to go one stair on top, two upside down stairs behind. Second stair, two upside down stairs. Third stair, two upside down stairs. And then a fourth stair like this, okay? Making sure that it's two blocks wide. Then we're gonna go ahead, grab our planks and we're gonna make a two by two like this. Now from this side here, we're gonna curl and put two stairs there, two on top, two stairs there, two on top. Then we should be able to go one, two, one, two, and we can connect the two by two across to here. Now, at the back here, let's go ahead and um, I think what we'll do is because we've only got that one going down there. So this is going to have to stay stone. So what we we'll do, put two of your um, spruce planks there, some upside down stairs underneath these ones, four blocks of planks underneath there. So that it looks like it extends back further, okay, which finishes off all of that section. And then at the very top here, we're just going to repeat the pattern in fact no we're not going to repeat that pattern what we're going to just do is fill that with planks because this top part is planks so we just complete the same pattern on the wall okay so that it looks like wood okay guys now this does look good but i've actually i think i'm going to just make a very small change okay so let's just extend this by two uh, by one like this um and we're not going to put an upside down stair there we're going to just leave that for the moment then get rid of these stairs on the corners here only the stairs low okay then we're gonna put a spruce a strip spruce log here and raise that all the way up as high as it can go okay to there then obviously one on the next gap leave a one block gap and bring it all the way up to here leave a one block gap and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a bone block in the corner bone block in here and then a bone block from this one up. And then that way it just looks nicer when we can see the stairway, okay, the way that it goes up. So now what we're going to have to just do here is get rid of these stairs here for a second, okay. And we're going to have to put in a stair just here, like this. Then... What probably be better if we break those there and those that one there is to put in some four blocks here and then stairs against this one. And then obviously we'll have to put some upside down stairs there and then get rid of that block there and put in some planks all the way across. I think what we can do is break these three blocks here, put in a plank like this so that we have upside down stairs directly underneath the stairs there. All right, guys, now that's all in place, let's go ahead and what we're going to actually do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of the stairs that are just down there. And then we're going to just fill that with planks like this. Put some planks across the top here, all the way to the corner. And then I guess we just get rid of the stairs underneath here as well. Um, and then just put in planks. And then over here, just make sure you don't accidentally knock that one out. At the back here, you can actually go ahead and just extend the wall designs so that we have them run into the ground, just like that. Okay, that's looking good. Now, underneath here, let's go ahead and put in a lantern right there. So we've got one block around the edge of it near the wall. And is it dark down here? Okay, uh, what we could do here if you wanted to could be put some stairs like this. And if you wanted to, make sure you put a light behind there so you don't get no mob spawn. Yeah. So that it looks like it just runs all the way down. 
yeah that's good okay right now from here let's put in a trap door on the actual stair going up like this and then of course on the actual stair on the inside we're going to do the same thing and then put two here crouch and place one on top of those open them ones and then we can get rid of those ones i think you could extend it over if you wanted to just like that it's entirely up to you however you prefer it okay that's all looking good i think what we need is a little bench down here so let's just put some dark oak stairs all the way across here and then face that one that way to make a little bench and then up here um it's a bit dark up here guys we're gonna put in some light in once we figure this roof out which we'll come back to in just a little bit let's um this whole way here guys i've just realized I've slightly messed this up. Well, we're going to move this back by one block. So let's just get rid of the pillars coming down the side here by the windows. And the stairs at the top here. Let's just get rid of this all the way down to here. Okay, this might not fit the way I wanted it to actually. So what we're probably going to have to do is let's do this. Let's just go with a pillar. A pillar, a pillar, a pillar. Yeah, we're gonna end up with a one block gap there. Is it really gonna make a difference if we've done it like that? We could just go a pillar on every one, I guess. It doesn't it doesn't majorly matter. We could just put a pillar like this with the strip spruce on every single one, making sure that they face the same way. Okay, once you've got that going all the way down here, guys, and they're all facing the same way, be careful here. See how the wood just turns? It just looks better if you just make sure it's facing the same direction as you're placing it. So just be careful. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and put in a spruce upside down stair in the gaps all the way across to here. Okay, right at this end up bit by the window. At the bottom here, I'm going to put a dark oak stair all the way across like that for a bit of decoration. Okay, now that the stairway is all in place down here, guys, we're going to start working kind of into this tower over here. So what we do, first of all, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that over by one so we connect to this. And then we're going to just fill in a floor level right here, okay? So bring it all the way around and just join it all up on this level. Okay, guys, now that that floor is all in place, let's quickly just head up the stairs here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just make a nice little section here. So can we get rid of this? We can, yes. Let's bring this pillar all the way up to there. We'll get rid of that one and turn that into a spruce plank. Now, right in here, I'm going to get rid of these trap doors here and that one there and that one there for the minute we're gonna put an upside down stair there and I'm gonna just put a pillar all the way up here like that until it touches the ceiling bum, bum, bum. and there we go okay perfect now why we're here I know it's a little bit dark guys but let's just go ahead and put in some upside down stairs here and some upside down stairs all the way across the next one and then two there two there and then i'm gonna put a light there and i think we should get enough brightness from that okay now the stairwell is all in place let's work over here so first of all if i've missed the door or my door has disappeared so we're gonna put a door back on there and for this bit let's get our planks we're going to bring our planks all the way up to the ceiling in that gap and all the way up to the ceiling in that gap there and then i guess what we do is we go one there one there um and we might as well just fill that one there then we're gonna make a bit of a wall here i want to section this bit off here into a room so we're going to start over here let's put in a pillar in the corner okay We'll put a pillar in this corner like so does that break through to the outside anywhere no it doesn't we're good we can put another pillar in this corner here as well i think perfect 
Okay, then we're going to go one, two, three, put one right there. And we should be able to put three planks in the gap, which we can. Let's extend that all the way up to the ceiling there and then fill the planks up until we get to the ceiling as well. Just like so. The doorway, I think we're going to leave a one block gap here and have the doorway just in here. And then we go one, two, and then our upside down stair just there for a doorway. Get rid of that torch there and then we just can put some planks in the gap here all the way to the ceiling. Let's put one there, fill this one out by two. Is this seen? Just about. Let's do that and that one, yeah, it's all gonna be the same in it. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll get in our stairs across here, upside down ones, stairs across here and then stairs across that one. And then I think in this gap here, we're gonna put some upside down stairs there, there and there. And there we go, we've got a nice little corner and a doorway. Let's get rid of these here and change them out for planks. Okay, right guys, this is shaping up really well. Let's go ahead and put a little lantern, I think, just in there. And then we can go ahead and get in our spruce door inside this room here. Again, guys, I'm not sure what to do with this room. I don't know if to make this a drinking room for the uh, king. Maybe we can make a little sort of uh, room where he can get some wine and that, a wine tasting room. Or should we have this as the wine tasting room, which is a bit more grand, which kind of looks more like somewhere the king would sit. Or is there a better idea that you guys have for that room? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, we're going to go in here and we're going to just neaten this room up a little bit. So let's get our planks out. We're going to go ahead and fill one section down the bottom like this, all the way across. Okay, just underneath those sections there, do the same on the opposite side. And you know what, guys? I think we can actually do this one here for the two as well. Okay, so these gaps here for the two blocks, raise those. So we should have something like that on one side. Do the same over on this side. Okay, that looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're literally just going to put some stairs all the way across like this. Stairs across the ones above. And then stairs at the very top like this. Okay. And we're going to just repeat that across this side like this all the way. And then turn around and do it on the other side as well. Okay guys, and that looks okay for the room for now. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lantern there. Actually, no, we're gonna put a lantern there. So we're two blocks away. We'll put another one there. Another one there, I think. Hopefully that should be bright enough for now. But again, guys, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think we should do with these other rooms. Okay, that's that room all done. Let's head upstairs here, guys, and we're going to start working on this bit of the tower here to clean this up a little bit and make it look a bit nicer. So, first of all, this wall where this window is here, what we're going to do is put a pillar here and a pillar here, raise them all the way to the ceiling. We're also going to put a pillar here and here. So, there's the wall there. We're going to put one here and here on this side. We're going to go ahead and put one here, which is going to go all the way to the ceiling. This one here is also going to go all the way to the ceiling. Then we're going to get rid of this block here and we're going to bring in a pillar right across here. Okay, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's on the seventh block up. And then we're going to do the same across here like this. Okay, so this one's going to be brought up to here and then it's going to continue from here all the way to the ceiling. This one here is going to go all the way to the ceiling, same as that one. This one here, again, do the same thing. Break it there, bring it all the way to the ceiling. And yeah, okay. And then we're from here and here, we'll also go to the ceiling. So let's go ahead, bring those all up to the ceiling now.
Okay, once you've got your pillars all in place, again, make sure they're facing the same way, like this. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these all the way to the ceiling. This one in here, I'm gonna just turn that to a plank. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna start here. We're gonna just put in our planks. Okay, so we're just gonna fill the planks like this all the way up in this gap, um, all the way underneath the window like that. Here, do the same thing. Except it's gonna go all the way to the ceiling. Um, then we're gonna do this gap here to the ceiling, this gap here to the ceiling. Above the window, that's gonna go to the ceiling. Um, and then we'll work on this bit down here in a minute. So let's go ahead first of all and just get all of these in place. Okay, once you're down the bottom here, guys, just go ahead and fill those two blocks in there. And then we're going to just put in some planks in this one. And then we're going to just bring this one here up like so. Over this corner here, um, what do we have? One, two. Well, I guess we just bring it up from this one for now like this. And then we're going to put some planks into that little edge there. I'm not sure what we're going to do just here at the moment. Um, we, won't, we can't remove that one or that one really. So we just have to see. We might be able to work something in here to make it look a bit nicer. We'll work that out when we work out the rest of this hallway here. Okay, right. Now, before we do anything else, guys, let's just quickly go ahead and fill planks in down this little bit of the hallway here. Let's just bring it all the way up till here. What's behind there? Stone. So that can stay as it is. Okay, that's looking good. Now, it is a bit dark at the moment, so I'm going to just leave a lantern in here until we get some lighting into this tower here. Um, right. Now, up here, we're going to start designing the king's bedroom, okay? So, for this bit, guys, first of all, let's go ahead, planks all the way around the edge of the windows, like this. Okay, once that's all in place, let's bring those planks all the way down this side over here. Just like so. Then we're going to get our stripped spruce logs again. Bring that all the way up here. And then all the way up on this side again. Put the planks at the very top here and then upside down stairs facing like so. On the inside groove here, we're going to put an upside down stair there. Upside down stair there. We're going to put a pillar in this little bit of a corner here. And same over here. And then we're going to get our dark oak stairs and we're going to make a little kind of table thing again, just like that. In fact, what we're going to do, get rid of these. Get rid of these. Let's put in planks all the way across. That gives us a bit more room for the wall here. Then I want to make sure, I guess, this side matches up. So let's go ahead and do the same over here. Do it around this little corner piece here as well, like this, so we sort of wrap around, okay? Right, okay, that looks pretty good. What we're going to do is get rid of these stairs, like this, and we're going to go ahead and fill here, above this, with some planks. That might be a little bit dark, guys, so let me go ahead and just put in a few lanterns, just so we've got a bit of light for the moment. I will change these lights at some point. Then we're going to get rid of that stair there, that one there, that one there and put some planks across there planks across here like this then okay right now we're going to just fill this wall here like this with planks okay now that we've got the walls like this guys let's go ahead um first of all let's just bring these stairs across here and then these stairs here we can bring them all the way across as well just to there for now now, we're going to try and I want to cover up some of this. Um, 
but I need to make sure that I don't over cover it. So let's go ahead and put a block here and a block here and a block here for the moment. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring those up to the ceiling like this. Get rid of that block there, bringing this one up as well. Let's just bring them all the way up, high as they can go. Like this. And then in that gap there, we're going to just go ahead and fill that in with some spruce planks. And also in here as well, all the way to the top. Okay, now we can make this look... See, this is this could be made to look like a cover. The problem is we're going to have all of these bookshelves on the inside, which isn't going to look right. Let's just go ahead, fill in these gaps here like this with the spruce planks. Then I guess what we do is we put right above the bookshelves here. Let's just do this and we're just going to cover these in. Right now, the king's bedroom door is probably going to start somewhere in the hallway here. Let's put in a pillar about here. We have a three block gap, put one here. One, two, three, four, five. Bring a pillar across and then join up about here. And then that one there can face upwards. So what we can do here is we can have a built-in kind of cupboard thing. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll go two blocks up Put some upside down stairs all the way across to here. Then that corner one there, we're going to break that. Let's make a pillar all the way up to the ceiling again for that one. And then a pillar across here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our bone blocks. We're going to put bone blocks across the top here like this. And in fact, let's extend them in this gap here as well. And you know what, I think we could actually just, it looks nicer, I think, when we do this. Yeah, something like that. Now, behind here can be a little uh, sort of uh, cupboards for the king. So let's go ahead and get our spruce door again. And then I guess we would go... Two there and two. Oops. There we go. It's a little bit awkward getting them to match up, but we got there. So we can go something like that for that one. And I think what we do is we will just bring the frame in maybe one more. Yeah, we'll bring. Yeah, we'll bring this frame in one more block here. So let's go from there and bring it into here. Bring this one in to here. I guess we can bring that across there. Can we break that? We can. Bring that one up. Can we break this one? Kind of doesn't get seen from the outside. Not really. It's in a corner, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll be better off leaving it stone, though. Let's leave that one stone. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. We've got some cupboards in there, guys. Now, I do apologize about trying to get those in. That was a little bit difficult to get those to, um, to line up. Now... For the moment, I'm going to just put in some planks across here. Don't worry about that bit there. It is lit up on the inside. I don't know if we're going to have a use for it, but we'll see what happens later on. Then just fill the rest of this here with some spruce. Open up your doors in here and just go ahead and put in a lantern. Sort of something like that. We've got some space in here to come in here and get some stuff. And the same over here. We'll put some chests, armor stands, and things like that in there a bit later on. Up here, let's bring the stairs across. And then I guess we can break that one there and then bring the stairs across here as well. Okay, so we get a little slope underneath there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I think what we're going to actually do here is that's going to go up into that cavern there. So let's just bring this out like this with the planks. And we're just going to put in a floor level about here. Okay, now this is one, two, three, four. It's on the fifth block up, okay? Okay, just like so. 
Now, because we're going to be making a little stairway in here, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to just put some planks across this wall here so we can cover up some of those stone. Okay. And then we're going to have a stairway that leads up to somewhere around here. So let's just break just a few of those. So we'll work out a stairway to come in here a little bit later on. Let's just put in something like that for the moment to brighten it up. We're going to work a, st a stairway that's going to lead into there later on. Um, but for the moment, can we get rid... Ah, no, we can't. That's annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is I think we're going to just turn this one over here. We'll move it over a block. So we're bringing it up to here, giving us a two block doorway for, to get into the king's bedroom. Go from the inside. Something like that. Then what we're going to do is go one and two here and we're going to just have to get in some pillars. Like so. Pillar in this corner. And then we can put one in the middle like this and our bone block just here. Okay, now can we get, yes, we can get rid of that. What's out there? Okay, that's straight outside there. So, realistically, we're not going to get much more than a two block walkway here. So, I think what we'll do is we get another pillar. We're going to put a pillar about here. In fact, we're going to put a pillar here. Right in line with this one here. And that is a, actually, these are four blocks. Let's break those four blocks all the way to there. And then we can use upside down stairs just to kind of give us a little bit more room. There we go. That gives us some more room there to work with. Up here, let's put in some planks. Planks on there. And then we're just going to just extend this all the way like this. We get rid of these ones? No, these ones have got to stay. Okay, so we've got three blocks walkway here. So I think what we're going to do to make this a little bit neater, because I, I can't stand when we have stone like that sticking through. But what we can do is we can disguise it like this. Trapdoors. Yeah, it just it hides it. It's a little detail and it hides it out of the way. So we've got that that we can use here. Then we're going to come all the way down to here and we're going to put in another pillar just here, like so. And then I think what we'll probably just do is get planks in here like this. We should be able to wrap these ones upside down around here. Just like that. What is that one there? That's a stone there. So to do that, we can just hide that like so. And then these ones on the corners here, this guy ahead, it's going to uncover that one there, isn't it? So annoying. Do you know what? We've only got that tiny little gap there. Let's just go and settle with a plank, uh, with a, uh, a spruce log like this. And we'll check it. I don't think it's going to really be seen on the outside, but it's going to drive me mad if I can see it there. Um... Yeah, something like that, I think. And then over here, just notice that one there. Let's make sure we get a white one in there. Okay, what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to actually get this log here. And I'm actually going to make a beam coming across here. Boom. And then one coming across from here. Into that one there. Let's get rid of those. And I'm going to bring this all the way across to here. All the way into there. What is that weird mark? Is that lighting? Okay, and then I think what I do is bring that one down to there. We can actually do the same here. Let's just extend this one over like this. And then above here, we're just going to put the planks in the gaps. And then make sure these face downwards onto them ones. Yeah, that definitely looks better. And then the light here, we can put one here, one here. Get rid of that one in the middle. 
And then I guess in the middle there we should just put a stair like that. And then one on that side too. Okay guys, right, now, I'm not sure what we're going to do in this tower yet, so if you guys have any ideas, be sure to let me know. This is the smaller tower. Then we come down here, we've got the king trim straight ahead there. We're going to have a stairway here that brings us into our largest tower, which I've got ideas for this tower, so stay tuned for those. Um, and then down here, we've got the king's bedroom. We're going to decorate the king's bedroom in next episode, and the king's got a nice view from his window, and... I've got lots of ideas coming up soon for the works on the outside here, guys. So stay tuned because there's lots of ideas coming throughout there. Um, yeah, so next episode, we're going to decorate the king's bedroom. And we'll probably work on the stairway coming up here. Decorate this area here. We'll see if we can get another idea for this tower here. And probably for the, um, for the room down here, which is this one. Again, I'm not sure what to do in this one yet. And even this room is nice. Even this would work as the king's bedroom. But it's a bit close to the war room and the library. I think it's like the king's bedroom would be more out of the way at the top of the castle. So I think, yeah, I think the king's room is better where it is. In here, again, I'm not sure what we're going to have in here. So any ideas, guys, be sure to let me know in the comments. Okay, right, we're doing pretty well. I mean, there's a lot of castle space that has been filled now. We've done quite a lot of work today, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys are glad with the changes. I know it's a pain having to make these little changes, but it's worth it, because in the long run, you just end up with something that looks so much nicer. I mean, look at this library here. I think this has turned out really cool, and making the little changes that we did, it's just really opened up the shape of the library and just turned it into something so much better. Now, if we come downstairs, guys, I've still got to do all of the kitchens and stuff that we're planning. I'm planning on some kitchens out the back here. So we're going to be filling in all the flooring in here and stuff like that. Um, and we're going to have some kitchens and storage rooms. And God knows what else down here. I really don't know what else is going to be down here just yet. It's good because where the, uh, where the hall is here, we'll be able to come straight through into the kitchens around the back here. A nice shortcut straight to the kitchens. Uh, we've got room down here. We've got room in the towers. Um, we've got room up here for more stuff as well. So I don't know what we're going to be doing in there. So much interior stuff to still do. Plus, I'm going to be doing the storage system. You guys said that you would love to see an automatic storage system. We're going to do that a little bit later on once we get more of the castle in place. But I've got a bunch of survival aspects coming to the castle as well. So stay tuned for those. We've also got to do the interior of the blacksmith and the interior of the stables and the houses on the tops here. So we're going to be doing all of that. Uh, we still got to do a little bit of work on the inside of the towers here to make them look nice as well. Um, yeah, there is so much work to do. Oh, guys, one thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the video or if I haven't or not. I put a little gate in here with a dark oak. As you can see, just basically put dark oak fences all the way to about there. So we have about three blocks underneath. Um, basically, it would be a little um, a little gate that could just simply be locked and gone, pulled down. We'll make something up here that'll make it look like it's functional later on. Um, and that's going to go into this area. I've been working on the church and the graveyard. I haven't done the graveyard or anything yet. This church actually has been moved and I've got a load of new walkways and plans in for this area. This area here is going to look awesome. I've got a really cool plan for that. So that's going to be coming very soon. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.